Awesome. So now I'm just going to show you how I'm going to cut this. Just get this piece of vinyl in there. Uh, you can pattern scribe, uh, and I do that from time to time. Uh, this is a piece of Tarkat fiber floor. It's pretty easy to work with, pretty forgiving. Um, so I'm just going to go through how I make my kind of my relief cuts, and then just pull the piece through there. If this was like a, a doorway going into another 12 foot wide room, I, I probably would pattern it out, uh, especially if I was by myself. It's just easier to work with, but. Uh, now, like, fortunate enough, I got a helper. Does make things a little bit easier um, on super big jobs to get some help um, getting stuff in. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just make some a couple relief cuts at the doors, and I'm cutting them just a skosh big. I'm not not going net or anything like that. And I have this already cut here to flop around there and I mean we've got plenty um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of pick it up try to keep it from creasing too bad and get it in there just so it's laying flat through here just so there's no hopefully no wrinkles or anything like that kind of need to keep an eye on my relief cuts too I don't want them ripping here's some really good news we got seams that got to go in here if you were to tear those a little bit, this stuff goes together great. Put a little seam sealer in it, but it, it's, it just fixes it like never even happened. So, I'm just going to kind of roll this. And I'll just try to be a little careful with it. I mean, still, there's still a lot of material. And I'll kind of show you here. There's still, still quite a bit of material i got to bend up and get through that door. But uh, I'm pretty confident I can do this. So. Here we go. There's no like secret formula by getting this in here. Um, big thing is just try to relieve pressure wherever there's pressure and avoid any prolonged creasing or extreme creasing. Sometimes you can't help it and that's just life of uh, installing. But we got ways we can fix it after the fact too. So, so you can see I got just a couple little bubbles. But that's just because, man, there's just so much weight, so much pressure on that vinyl going through there. I'm going to do my best here to get, get those out prior to cutting. Because once I start cutting, especially with vinyl, it kind of is where it is. I mean, it's, it's hard to fix. You know, a piece of carpet, you can come back and patch it in. So I've got this flat enough to where I'm comfortable Coming back to my door jam, door casing, door jams, and just doing some more relief cutting. And here's a great example. Yep, we pulled, we ripped it, we pulled away just a little bit, but don't cut that material off. It will go back together. These pieces of Tarkat, the nice thing is they got some lines on the back, so if you're newer to installing, you know, it's like, you know, when you make these cuts from up, from behind the material, so it's kind of difficult, like, where do I cut? Well, you can kind of find a line on it and stay within so many inches of it, and you'll be fine. So, that's, you know, proper planning before we got that figured out. We got a whole slob of gobs right here in front of the shower. Just gonna get it, lay it down so it's flat. Flat as I can get it. I'm just gonna pick a line and again, not rocket science or anything, but uh, I think sheet vinyl for me as an installer was one of the more difficult things to learn. It was just the confidence part of it. And it's because you can cut kind of this part it pretty easy. Sheet vinyl, eh, not so much. You put a big tear in it or something, you know, you're probably 
Uh, well, truthfully, all the material that I ever had to buy as an installer had replaced jobs that were all vinyls. And fortunately, um, I worked out of a good store at the time that they, they helped me out with it. I had to buy it, but at least I wasn't stuck at full retail buying it. So uh, that, that did help. But I think, I think we got her pretty flat. So that's, that's one way to do it. Like I said, another way would be to, to pattern scribe it out, make a pattern on the floor, put that on top of your vinyl, and then you can uh, trace that out and it'll fit in here perfect. Does take a little bit of time. If, the older I get, the more experience I get. I prefer doing this because now all I gotta do is just cut this in and it's ready to go. So uh, I'll check in with you here in a little bit again uh, on some cutting, but uh, just to keep the video shorter, we'll stop her there. You know, it just occurred to me that I was gonna make a video of, of what me installing vinyl and not showing you, you know, uh, a little bit of uh, flooring installer skill. So I'm gonna cut that in up next to that uh, shower I use silicone. I just go back, like, you know, got a white tub with gray. Uh, we could probably get by with white silicone. We could probably get by with clear silicone. But uh, I'll just kind of show you how I hold my knife. I always like to use a utility knife. And I've done this enough. Sometimes what you can do is you can take your hook knife, pretend this is a hook knife, crease, 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 give yourself a nice crease and cut along that. And with these fiberglass backing, um, that's not a bad way to do it. I just find the, just take that knife and I, I hold it just like this. And I can just kind of feel what that knife blade's doing. And I put just enough pressure on to run it as tight to that as I can. And we'll just slice our way down. All right, Chris. I don't think that's a bad cut. Now there is a gap underneath um, the shower to the floor. I'm guessing the you know obviously the, the concrete floor is probably not the, the most level, so they went to level it out. But that's actually kind of a bonus with that little gap there because you do want to leave. You don't want to finish stuff tight. I uh, can't say it enough, but there's there's just. There's too much movement in everything to finish stuff tight, and you're just asking for problems later on if you finish everything tight. So, uh, fortunately for us, the trim was all off. Sheetrock's up a good half inch, so this was a pretty easy one. So, I think that looked that looks nice.